so now the real reason that we all came together today, and that's to do a bunch of burpees in support of Good Shepherd Food Bank and all of the incredible work that they do. Um, I'm really happy to have you all here today for this incredible event, and thank you all for your support in our fundraising efforts over the past few weeks as well. Food insecurity is a real issue here in Maine. Nearly 200,000 Mainers live with food insecurity, and one in five kids in Maine live with food insecurity. That means that they don't have enough nutritious food to live a healthy lifestyle. And I'm honored to be a part of this day today with Ethan Mitten from Good Shepherd Food Bank to support the fight with you against hunger in Maine. Not only are we raising money to fight this serious issue, but we're helping to raise awareness. Food insecurity is a serious issue even here in our local community in Brunswick. And I'm so thrilled to be here with all of you today to help make um, people aware of this and help do our part. And I'm uh, really grateful for everything that all of you have done. This event has been near and dear to my heart um, for a couple of years while I've been planning the opening of this business and had the opportunity to participate in the event in Bangor. It's been going on in Bangor since 2015 and during that time, they've raised nearly $30,000 to fight hunger in Maine. These past couple of weeks coming in today, this community here in Brunswick has raised $3,125. Yeah! That is enough money to put 12,500 meals on the tables of Hungry Mainers. That's incredible. And that's really something to be proud of. So great work, you guys. Thank you all so much. With that, I'd like to turn it over to Ethan to say a few words. Great. Um, thank you so much, Allison. Thanks for uh, for all of you for being here to help support the work of Good Shepherd Food Bank. Um, we, we come from very humble beginnings. Um, our founder, Joanne Pike, uh, noticed in Lewiston some of her neighbors were struggling uh, putting enough food on the table. They might be, uh, because they were in between jobs, or they weren't earning enough money. And so um, she saw that at her local Hannaford, they were throwing away dented cans of food. And so she pulled those dented cans out of the dumpster. So literally beginning this work um, with, with cans of food coming out of a dumpster at a local Hannaford. And the manager saw her doing this and said, come on inside, uh, we'll set this food aside for you and have it available on a regular basis. And over time that led to conversations with uh, some of the corporate folks at Hannaford. And uh, fast forward, uh, Hannaford is far and away, far and away, our biggest um, food donor and uh, a huge financial supporter. So it went from you know just a, a few dented cans of food to being a statewide effort um, to um, to collect um, hundreds of thousands and ultimately millions of pounds of food. Well, when we started, Joanne Pike and, and the folks she was working with, her her vision was that this was a temporary assistance for a temporary problem. It's almost 40 years later, and it's clear that, uh, I saw the sign, by the way, that's just physics. <laughs> I'm gonna go with that. Um, so, you know, it's 40 years later, and it's clearly not a temporary problem, and so we have recognized at Good Shepherd Food Bank that we can't continue to just do things the way we've always done them. It's really important to collect food and distribute it so that when somebody's hungry, they have food. But how do we get at some of the systemic problems? How do we have come up with long-term solutions? And so we are looking at innovative ways to have more access points. That's why we uh, establish great relationships with schools. We now have uh, nearly 200 school partners. We're working with healthcare providers to screen for food insecurity. And we're doing something that we should have been doing more of a long time ago, and that's putting the folks we serve at the center of our work. They are the experts in this issue because they're the ones who are dealing with food insecurity. So we are working really hard to have them have a voice uh, at the table. Uh, Allison mentioned the startling statistics. So nearly 200,000 Mainers struggle with hunger, one in five children. Um, we, just, we collected uh, 30 million pounds of food, and, and those numbers are important, but I find sometimes they can be overwhelming and kind of miss the fact that behind those numbers, is each one of those numbers, there's an individual. And the one in particular that, that has always struck me is you know, one in five kids struggle with hunger in the state of Maine, and how do you wrap your head around that? Uh, several years ago, my daughter Sally brought home her class picture, and you, you probably all have seen these. You know, She's at the center, 
and a teacher and principal up here, and then all the other students around the outside. And I was looking at it, and it and it just struck me that three or four of those kids that are in her classroom are struggling with hunger. And that's true in every classroom, in every town and city, in every county in the state of Maine. Um, you can't tell who the kids are typically by looking at the picture, but if you talk to the teacher, they'll know, um, because they see the signs um, firsthand. So the fact that you are here today to, <laughs> to exert yourself, um, some more than others, all more than me, uh, I, I'm, I'm most grateful, and it truly does have uh, an impact. You know, more than 12,000 meals being provided for children and their families, um, seniors, and those uh, those folks who just um, are, are struggling to put enough food on the table. So, very grateful for your support. Um, I, I, thanks for putting all the effort into it, raising the money uh, for Good Shepherd Food Bank. We really appreciate it.